Hi, this is Fred at Brayside Allotments. Just thought I'd let you know what's going to be happening in the next few weeks. <laughs> right, so this bed, I've put two bags of manure on this one, so it's going to have a lot of, uh, it's going to have uh, Japanese uh, onions in, which I fetched the other day, so there's about 100 in a pack, so I'm going to have to use two beds, that one and that one. So... This one is going to have uh, all year round cauliflowers, which is good. <laughs> so that's okay. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get many radishes, I don't know. And these are the uh, all year round cabbage. So they're okay. What's going in this one? Uh, See, lots are going in this one. Um, what's going in that one? Um, strawberries. Strawberries going in that one. Leeks are coming on flipping great. These are the new lot of leeks I put in. I only put them in about, what? A couple of weeks ago. Look at them now. Beetroot's ready for uh, pulling. And the good half, my lady good half, is going to, uh, better half I should say, is going to uh, boil them and pickle them. So that's good. Now these... Oh, my uh, oh, prize leeks, they are really, really looking good, these. These are really good. I've not had them as big as that ever. Oh, I've got one cause yet. So that's OK. Brussels sprouts, I think I'll be able to pick. Let's have a look. Have a look. Uh, they're coming, uh, a bit bigger I think, I'll just leave them a bit longer. You can eat the tops off these and they taste apparently just like Brussels sprouts. I didn't know that, but I do now. Right. Let's see what's going off down here. Not a lot I don't think. My comfrey's doing well, that's the comfrey. Comfrey. Keep cutting the leaves off, putting them in water. And uh, you get some lovely liquid manure. Now, I've had loads of carrots off these. No, they're not massive. They're not big. In fact, I'll pull one just to show you. They're not big. You know. But uh, they're lovely in pot. In fact, I'll take that. I might eat that now. I'll wash it and eat it. They're not big, but they, uh, they're lovely and tasty. Just nice and stews. Now, I've got some wood ready here. I'm going to cordon all this off. All round here. And I'm going to uh, put ground cover down and then put chippings on. So that should be okay. Oh, looks like bloody rain's coming, I don't know. Uh, then. So, this is Bill's plot. I haven't seen him for a while. So I don't know what's happening there. I haven't seen him, so I don't know. I've cut me uh, red currants right down, M3. They've done note this year. Uh, the blackberries did well. They, they, they were okay then. Plum tree and pear tree, a load of crap. But there you go. That's that. Oh, nearly fell there. Right. This bin is going to be for carrots. What I'll do, get the compost, sieve it all the way to the top. So it can go straight down. Now here, I've took my sweet corn up and took them home. And the stalks, I put in a trench and chopped them, put some comfrey jukes on. I shall leave it for about a couple of weeks, let it all rot down and cover it back up again. And then I shall do it again there, and then there again there. So you've got three trenches dug until I have plenty of goodness in it. Still want some bloody manure though. Never mind. Oh, sun's coming out now. Right. So I'll just give you a quick view. M3 beds, M3 beds, four beds I should say. So it's not a bad plot, it's coming on. What I'm going to do over the winter is uh, do some more painting, just paint them up again, you know, put some of that wood preserve on so they don't rot. Now, if anybody knows a suggestion how to keep the flaps down on a bloody polytunnel, because them stick-on things are rubbish, so if anybody knows or gives me a clue how to stick them down, I'd be very grateful. 
So as I am to clue, I don't know what to do. The trouble is when you're watering, you get wet and that sticky stuff comes up. So Anyway, this is Fred saying bye-bye. <laughs> I'm going up to the farm now, up to the horse stable, see if there's any manure. He says, I'm going to get it. But uh, they put it in a skip and it's on a ramp. You've got to climb up the ramp and get in the skip. So you might not see me ever again. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for listening. If you like what you see, press the subscribe button. And if there's anything you need to know, just let me know. Bye now.